Yeah, you missed all the 1128 drops. Oh, really? Why? What, what did they have? They had a bomb and a PSI caramel from uh, uh, Kodama got a bomb and then uh, JSR got a caramel from this Shaq fight. That's awesome. It was really... I actually did not know the PSI caramel was a 128 until just now, so... Yeah, that, I definitely got that in a run the other day and I didn't use that right. Yeah, because you never <laughs> think about it, right? Yeah. It's, just, it's, it's definitely not as hype as a bomb drop, that's for no. sure. I mean, it, it is honestly nice because you're guaranteed like an extra rock in front. Right, for a car painter, absolutely. It is super good. But it's like, oh, but like you could three turn Titanic Ant. <laughs> <laughs> that is the dream, man. That's the dream. All right, so I believe we have. Um, actually, not. I'm going good comment. It's Attack Slug and IQ, right? Yes. I'm saying that to myself because I need to open up their streams. <laughs> I sent the multi. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. No. Oh, the multi. Yes, okay. Except, uh, are you still having that issue with the, the purple screens? See, you know, a true commentator doesn't even need to see the game. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm fully expecting to... I'm, I'm fully expecting to go blank at some point, but it's fine. That's why I beat <laughs> That is completely fair. I've been burnt too many times already. We, we have no early bat skippers. Do you like to see it? Think of all the frames that are being lost. <laughs> Peen train, yes. That, that's very accurate. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Alright, well, whenever these... Uh, you got this, Arts. I'm, I'm buffering streams. <laughs> well, we are in, you know, the most riveting part of the front. Of course, Second of course. only to double cutscenes, you know? Yeah. <laughs> side by side, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I get an ad on slug stream yeah twitch <laughs> i so you know totally not biased but i can it might have been peen train it was probably peen train but someone mentioned that i think all commentators should get gifted free twitch turbo for the duration of ebss and like i said i'm not biased at all i think it's a good <laughs> idea I, it, that might be a good idea if only prime still stopped commercials why did you yeah, screw us like this twitch thanks jeffrey yeah, for real. <laughs> Think of the small grassroots speedrunning tournaments, Jeff. <laughs> All right. So both of our runners now have woken up from their brief nap. Porky's banging on the door. More text mashing. Everyone's favorite attempt to get out of Nessa's house. And I do believe both of these racers are open one. Oh, I can't. <laughs> uh, I have the spreadsheet. I have the spreadsheet. All right. Let me cross-reference. Hit me with that back check. It is, it is true. These are both 01 racers. So they are, they're fighting for that, that coveted one point position, which will allow them to face other runners who will have one point. For those who are just joining, the Swiss bracket, gives you one point per win in the first five weeks here and you face other people with a similar point value as you so kodama who just won will go on to face a two-point player next week while these players are fighting for their first point yeah and that way uh basically every step of the tournament we're always going to be having the close races so keep everything interested even until later it's nice it's like live seating right exactly and we are cutting to top 16 in a tournament of only 24 people. So basically, you know, translation is you can start off relatively poorly and still. So we're just going to fight for seed. Uh, and the way it works is you know, some two and three runners are actually going to need that round. So you can start off 0 and 3 and still claw your way back. I think it's exciting. It is true. 
because you're you're mostly you're mostly judged on the times that you put out too. So if you have some really close races, but you're still churning out like decent times, uh, you're gonna you're still gonna place pretty high at the end of the day, even if you were losing your races. Yeah, and I do want to comment right there on. I big respect to IQ there, getting caught in that pincer, almost making it up between that snake and that crow. Unfortunate. Uh, but yes, failing that stutter at the last second. Luckily for them, Axelug does get into his dogfight at the same time, so no, uh, you know, no yeah. real comparative time loss. There. Still pretty much neck and neck with both the encounters they took here. Yep. We do love to see the fancy footwork so early on in the race that I think it bodes well for an exciting one. Slug getting a bit of a more rougher time with their encounter. Nest getting down to the single digit HP from the dog. Yeah, and you might think, oh, it's early, so that's not a super big deal, but actually having to spend extra healing before the Pogo Punks is actually kind of big. It's true, um, yeah. Probably means we'll, we'll see some fruit juice or something, or one one thing I've seen a lot of runners do this year that I haven't seen that much in years past, especially my burgers. Just like a handful before the Pogo Before punks the Punks, huh? Interesting. Yeah. Super that is a valid state. threat. Yeah, that is a valid threat. So like having a bit more unluckiness with the spawns there. They did choose to life up here, so we uh they we have we will have their healing before the punks. Yeah, I wonder Do you top off with life up or do you top off? I don't know what I would do. Neither is a good scenario. I feel like I, because I normally am going to use the bread roll around the first punk anyways, I typically, if something bad happens on hill climb, I would just use the bread roll early. That makes sense. Because I feel like uh, life ups are a bit more useful than items. Yeah, and it does get you more HP. Than and you can get into an, a relatively awkward scenario where like, you want to bread roll before Frank, but it doesn't actually heal enough to fill you up. Oh boy, yup. Yeah. <laughs> then you just have to spread roll in your inventory that you can't do it. Yup. So they're still pretty close. Uh, Starman can sway the tides here with uh, how, how long he decides to keep them. Yeah, basically just rolling the dice to see how much time you lose. Exactly, lose. yeah. A, uh, the Bolt 83. Oh, thank you, Bean Train. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Bean Train's doing my job for me. He, he tells me what to say during, you know, purple outs. <laughs> he links the things in the, in the chat. It's an honorary. He's, he's on it, dude. Yeah. Looks like IQ forgot the bread. I had to go back. No, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, uh, yeah. did Slug already get the bread roll? I believe they did not. They are actually Ooh. opting, uh, they did life up, but I mean, you still want that bread roll utility on the punks. So, so maybe they're just gonna go with prep. Um, that's a, that's true, that's true. I could see that. I do know some runners just like skipping the bread roll because it's kind of out of the way. Um, you can get past it. I mean, if the first pogo falls over three times in a row, you don't necessarily need the the bread roll. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I always like to just kind of send it in auto fight on the board. Oh, 106 for IQ. Oh. Oh. That's that's really good for him. It's always funny commentating on the Starman Jr. fight. You see these people, right? You're like, wow, look at all this. So much skill. What is <laughs> yeah, involved in getting a great yeah. ranking? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's just, it's like, I don't know. It, 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 it gives me so. Holy moly, hey. fuzz, but that's what. See? It's hype. <laughs> <laughs> it is hype, honestly. <laughs> It's like it's like playing bingo, right? There's you know there's no skill involved, but right. bingo <laughs> is so hype as hell, right? <laughs> I don't know when I when I get to Star Mage, I love just I, I turn on auto fight and I just all right, buzz buzz, give me a show, <laughs> take the wheel, baby. Because <laughs> he either giveth or he taketh, and he just taketh from uh from from Slug here. He just hit a thirty six. Oh, however, did we see that nice little smash there from yeah, Nest yeah. to finish him off? Yeah, that, I think so. It's a real feels good man moment. It is, there. it is. Ness doing just a bit more damage than Picky does, luckily. So a, a crit from Ness actually does a, a bit of damage. Not a lot, a little bit. 
Yeah, that's actually the reason to equip the crack uh, before Storming Junior. You actually don't have to, as long as you have any your, your inventory, but people let you out. Um, ah. So a lot of people do, or not a lot of people. I've seen some people just not equip the bat at all, save that menuing time, and then equip it later when you equip Mr. Baseball. Uh, oh. so that makes you quicker. Just but if you do that, you save time menuing, but you don't have the benefit of possibly smashing. For the day um, I learn. That's interesting. So many strats, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. What I mean, a great speedrun. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. This speedrun has like so much. To, when you compare it to like other RPGs, because there are some RPGs out there where it's kind of like it's mostly menuing and boss fight. And like, I will agree that is a lot of this game menuing for sure. But there's so much tech outside of it too. Yeah, just like all the different ways you can avoid enemy spawns, just makes it such like a right. Like hard to master speedrun. It's like. true. Because it, it often it's not obvious. Like, oh, is the despawn faster? Is the stutter faster? I can just stutter. There's a spawn afterward. I get screwed. You know. It's... I struggle with that daily. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure everyone in chat has ever played this game. It's exactly. Right. But it like, means oh, there's yeah. just so much, so much room for mastery, and so much room for individual style. It's true, and I do love that about this game. It's exactly what you said. There's so many individual styles that you will see come out as people pick and choose different strats that are are arguably all valid uh, with how to get through the game. And and the game has a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of RNG. So it, <laughs> you can you can bring what you want to the table, but it will just punish you no matter what. So the game Which does is... need to uh, cooperate. Exactly. No matter how many strats you. Can. <laughs> Especially in Boogie Percent, right? Because um, early on in the game, you do not have any, like, the, you don't have that many options, right? Like, you don't have lots of inventory spaces, you don't have, like, hello workers, consecutives. So, sometimes it's just, you know, up to the will of the game. More yeah, so than it would be. You're stuck with Ness for pretty much the whole run. Yeah. <laughs> The least okay. exciting character to use. Yeah, and I, I and I make that point exactly. I make that point because you're stuck with Ness. <laughs> <laughs> now it, it would be fun to have like, and there probably is a mod, but you like start the game with Paula or something. That would be interesting. Yeah, you actually have useful PK moves. Yeah, kind of like how like in like right, Pokemon other... in like Pokemon speedruns or like Pokemon mods that they have alternate starters. You'd start with them. right, right. Like randos, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sure there is a way to rando so you could get like Paula's stats or Paula's like level ups on. I'm sure someone in the there's a lot of rando community people here. Someone can figure that out. Yeah, <laughs> you guys got this. <laughs> Watch out! What are you good for? <laughs> Meanwhile, so, while we're blabbing away, I know, I know, right? We're supposed to be commentating <laughs> or something. I keep tearing through these pogo puns with reckless abandon. He is having very nice luck with them. He did pick up the juice in the beginning. He opted for that that nice six HP buff for there. And now I don't believe um, Attack Slug actually went and bought burgers, so just straight up bread roll skip. Nothing yep. wrong with that though. And she didn't seem to get too punished by the first Pogo guy. So if she can make it through the second guy with like a like a two turn and a fall down, that would be hey, we're already on our way. Yeah, and that's the. Uh... That's the payoff, right? Right. Sometimes you just don't need the bread rolls. I waste time grab this. Right. She will have the life up here before the hula guy, but that could always have had to been an option anyways. Ooh, we do get the crit from Ness. And IQ is just running through this split right now. That, exact, that, you love to see that. Ness, Frankie, arguably much harder than Frankie Stein to deal with because of the, the 20s he can dish out. Yeah, and you have one less level going in, so it's it's really uh, dependent on how good your offense level ups have been at that point. I, I think the difference between being able to kill Frank in four hits and five hits is that's um, actually interesting. I did not know that. Good to know. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he he has forty three HP or something like that, fifty three. Yeah. Um. But basically, if, if you're hitting reliably for over 15, um, you can kill him in four hits. Speaking of killing him in four hits, nice little smash there at 12. Exactly. <laughs> IQ not letting Onet 
the beginning of Onet teach him anything here. He just goes right through it. And Slug gets through Frankie respectably with a uh, 47 HP going into Frankie's time, so. Okay, nice and there. She is, she's honestly, I mean, really just nipping at the heels. The bread roll skip, the things she's done to like save up time. I don't know if the bread roll skip was intentional. If it was just like, oh no, and then I have to continue. But I guess remember IQ realized he forgot about it. And, then, like, and he went back. That's it. true. Even more time saved um, on the bread roll skip. Type slug probably into. Oh, she always skips the bread roll. Uh -huh. Interesting. Interesting. Bold move. And hey, it paid off. It did. It absolutely Frankie did. Frankie Stein is down, and not too much time between the runners, so it seems to be working out just fine. And uh, Slug Grind is anybody's game, absolutely. When they're this close, it can go sideways for anybody. Yep, I always say Slug Grind is the great equalizer of Boogie Percent runs. Uh, sometimes they're there, sometimes they're hiding. <laughs> It's as simple as that. Sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. And then it's great when they are. It sucks when they're not. Yeah, luckily, you know, we do have some strats now to try and mitigate the uh, luck of it. You know, by catching the mouse on the cave. Uh, so it's it's a little bit better than it used to be. That's um, very true. But still not. Still not, not ideal. It's not, it's not just walking in, manipulating an ant, and getting a bomb, and then skipping everything else, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I, it, you'd be hard-pressed to find in that was a big part of the run. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure you ask anybody who casually played this game, like, oh, how was Onet, right? <laughs> yeah, that was Giants. I, I mean, I played this game in, in college for the first time, and I thought Onet was, was a piece of garbage just all around, all the way through Cops, man. Yeah, my, my one and only casual playthrough of this game, I just, like, never used a single bit of water rock the whole time. I didn't realize they were good. Um, I don't think I realized they were as OP as like, you know, you know, you come in the speed run, you only use them. But I definitely realized that uh, if Jeff used them, they did a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah, I, I would just bash them. Just I would bash and like that was my strategy. And I wasn't even like a child. I was like I was in high school at this point. I just, <laughs> that was just the best strategy. I I keep getting the really unlucky, weird thing where the one slug comes out and gets stomped. Okay, <laughs> this is, uh... <laughs> He's just gonna walk all over these slugs, I guess. So you say it's unlucky, but you you actually have a... You know, you don't That's take true. any damage, right? This is faster, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's so I don't know if it's actually faster. I mean, it depends on how the fight actually goes, right? Um, but you don't take any damage, so you don't have to heal after this. And you get three extra chances to get a bomb drop. Um, which, you know, obviously didn't happen, but it, it's it's not nothing, right? All fair points. All fair points. He now goes to set up the mouse. The mouse. <laughs> Unlucky does oh, not get yeah, caught there. <laughs> yeah, what do you do here? You I guess he's trying. He wants the slugs. He wants the slugs really bad. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. Nice step. Well played. Well played. He gets the three pack. The slugs are not wanting to come as fours today. Do you, uh, he might have despawned one of the slugs going, like, over to the Backwards, right. that's true, when he had to walk away from the mouse, that's fair. Oh, Slug gets the really quick, uh, catch of the mouse onto the crag here. Yeah, very nice there. IQ using the iframes after the slug fight to despawn that mouse. Worry about it anymore. Mm, bad mouse spawn there, it's gonna be hard to get that one stuck. Yeah, you can see... You can see in one picture why we catch the mouse on the there, right? Like, look at how hard of a time IQ is having to just even get the slugs over to him to trigger the fight. He can't even get four slugs, man! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what is this? This is... Seven? <laughs> nine. Nine. He's, he's on nine slugs. Yeah, so this is 13. What is going on? <laughs> Weird numbers, that's for sure. Like, well, can, can, can you even go? I guess you farm another four pack and you can still go for the six pack, I guess. Yeah. Or maybe you could, like, take some singles on the way up. But there, there, there are some ways. There's some, yeah, there's some options. But yeah, I think he's at 13. Um, Slug is at 8. So. Not too much difference between them. I have seen a couple less than 30 hits from Slug. Okay, right I can finally get the setup here. There we okay. go. 
He, he was worried there for a second. I could see him hesitating. He was like, I don't know if this mouse is in a good spot, so I'm just going to try and get the slugs normally. And then he's I like, ah, I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> I didn't think the mouse was stuck either, so I, I don't blame him. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I must have caught a subpixel or something. Okay, so he'll be at 17 after this, so... So he could go up... Maybe he'll get the cheeky four pack underneath the rope at the end. That could always happen. Yeah, you, you could just grab another four pack down here and then like take a single. That doesn't seem that's terrible. probably the safer way, right? Oh, and he gets lucky actually. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Instant spawn. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I knew that was gonna happen. That's why I <laughs> <that>. <laughs> ah, clairvoyance. <laughs> And slug also, yeah, attack slug, attack slugs. <laughs> it's like buffalo, 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 buffalo. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Finally gets. That... Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, go ahead. No, I was going to say, it doesn't go here. Your, your commentary is much more valuable. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, she finally gets another slug pack. IQ choosing actually to farm out his last pack down here. Unless now, I don't know if this is because I miscounted. Um, See, I, I don't think know. I thought we, I thought we were at nine when you said thirteen. I was just like, oh. Well, I think you know what? I guess Arts was counting. <laughs> no, I mean, I, re I've said this plenty of times on commentary. I refuse to do any. So <laughs> on this one. That's my one condition. Well, I'll be fair. Also, I play a lot of Mother Two, and things go a lot faster in Mother Two. So I typically, if I look away from the screen, and I, I assume more slugs have passed than ha than I ha than have. But he just leveled up to eight just now, so that would be his last pack. Yeah, I'm good. Now, you're a Mother 2 runner, right? So I assume you use a lot of turbo in that, right? Uh, I do need to get a turbo controller, but yes, the main consensus is you do want to use turbo. Okay, cool. So I, I was going to even ask... Even in the Manip, <laughs> the, the guy who did the Manip for uh, turbo, or for Mother 2, uses turbo, and it's like the only reason it works. Yeah. Because I know, I believe this is the first EBSS where Turbo has been out. Um, and I know some runners have been talking about how, like, actually moving to Turbo, obviously, it's an advantage. It, it's mashing. also, yeah. But it, it is like a learning. Right? Exactly. Because um, if you overmash something, it's bad. Yeah. Especially if it makes you, like, input the wrong thing in a fight or something. Mm -hmm. If you bash, bash Ant instead of healing, and then you die. I played some other, you see, I have yet to use actual turbo proper in this game yet, um, but I played some other games, I speedrun some other games that allow turbo as well, and it is definitely exactly what you said. You gotta, you gotta know when to pull off the throttle, you know? Yeah. IQ get in the lucky tiny cave with no ant spawn there. Wow, so, he... attack Sorry. slug here, very close to level 8, I mean, how many, I haven't been counting the slugs, but... She's gotta be she's close, been fighting right? for a while. She, yeah, she's been fighting for a while. <laughs> and she's still just hit for 28. So her offense must be so low. Which is super unlucky. Because usually by level 7, you know, you should never. You should be one-shotting them, exactly. And Ness is just straight up missing back and forth for her. Yeah, not ideal. Meanwhile, IQ hits for about 90 on Titanic and first rock. So 61. Respectable. Yeah, 90 and that's really good. good. Yeah, gonna have to do some bashing out here. But uh, it does have an inventory full burger, so nothing to worry about here. Attack looks still having to grind. Yeah, wow. Impressive. Go for it, girl. You, you climb the rope, you go up. <laughs> you get those slugs up there. And here, not not attacking. That's nice. It's also magnets at low. Like uh, points, which you want. There we go. Yeah, Pretty clean nice. ant, I will say, and another slug pack for slug here, which is, I guess, what she wanted, so hopefully this will get her to level 8. Maybe she had a lot of misses that I just was not commentating on. Yeah, it's, a, it's unfortunate, right, because she, uh, she got the setup super quickly. Right, exactly. And then just, I guess, didn't get the spawns, which, like we said earlier, that sometimes it's just what happens. <laughs> There's nothing yeah, yeah spe especially if you even with that mouse spawn, they, the slugs, they, they just can straight up not show up as many times as you reset that plate. Yeah. But she does have level 8 now. They're going to high five. Crossing paths. On their way down, yep. down. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, couple of ants slash slugs over here. Oof. Does yeah. oh, the red's not manage to get the stutter. 
Ooh. She she does have the rock and use abilities though, so it's not super dangerous. So obviously, it just takes some time. A little bit, little bit, and she may have to go for two butterflies. I I think twenty five is probably okay to go to ant with. Yeah, I mean, but you, a lot of times that's, that's all you have. That's yeah. true. That's true. That's true. Is his max uh, twenty five at level eight? It depends. You, you can get like two psychic points, but okay. um, it's probably not worth getting an extra butterfly. Uh, definitely not. Not when you can't use anything with two psychic points. Yeah, it just maybe protects you from right. Um, Magna. Oh, true, true, true. I <laughs> I have some some mean things to say about his Magna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's you know it's not a not a completely terrible thing to do up to twenty seven. Um, it's like going to ooh cheeky that ant jumped out in front of her. <laughs> oh, is that a yeah? But she does have the solo ant kills, luckily. So that's such she a does... bad moment when you just spawn into a room and there's an ant there and you right at the door. Yep, you you are blessed to have twenty four offense in those situations. Yeah, it just takes the free kill there. Definitely the easier route than risking the double on the respawn again. Not getting a cookie from either of those ants. Is that lucky or unlucky? I don't know. Oh, she already uh, has a cookie. It's like a, I, she might have gotten that from the double. Oh, she just dropped it. So in her, in her <laughs> case, it is unlucky. It is unlucky <laughs> to get it. You know, sometimes is... you can hang on to it to give like Apple Kid or say for a uh, Agreed, agreed. But... Using for Apple Kid is usually my go-to when I get those. Yeah, but it can definitely mess with your venue thing, right? Um, for sure, for sure. So, and if you plan on filling up before, with burgers before cops again, uh, you would not want that cookie there. Yeah. She gets some pretty good rock and rolls on the ant. Ooh. Oh, the smash! She had plenty. She had the like. Uh, she loaded. If, it if up. ants gonna smash, that's exactly when you want them to do it, right? So. Perfect. <laughs> exactly. IQ rolling nice. through these cops sees a crushing chop from cop over here, cop number two. That was a really solid ant fight. Indeed, the Minus Rockins the did not punish her. She got through it pretty well. She's gonna need all the help she can get. Make up this uh, time lock. Thank you. Yeah, IQ getting the lucky, the luckier RNG of the two. Steamrolling through giant step. The second cop there giving him a bit of trouble. Took a bit longer than he probably would have liked. Yeah, the cop grind is really just a kind of a war of attrition, right? You wanna mm -hmm. Try to conserve your psychic points, try to conserve your burgers. Try to see if they'll drop burgers for you, which they, they're not liable to. Yeah, one in eight chance, so on average you'll see one every other run. Moving into cop number four with a pretty decent amount of HP. Won't have to open up with a heal or anything crazy, probably. Yeah, we'll 67 see. HP is pretty safe. See if he tries to buffer up his healing, which would be typically the smarter thing to do going into strong. Get yourself at that nice healthy uh, health pool so he doesn't submission hold you turn one. Yeah, it still has a couple burgers left. So. Yeah, so. Has some he's resources sitting, to burn. Set it up. Yeah, he's sitting pretty comfortably. Ooh, 23 HP going into strong. Not ideal, but he should be able to pop off a heal. Unfortunately, he only has 21 speed points, though, so if you want to max up, you're going to have to life up. And you Absolutely, yeah, and you definitely do want to life up here, right? For sure. Yeah, yeah, so definitely interested to see. Yeah, he's just going to have to life up. Oh, he chooses the hamburger. Okay, but okay. he does get the lucky. He could, yeah, he could double burger here. That'll still work. Or just a single burger. Ooh, okay. The submission going for it. All right. Well, 91. Yeah. That, that's good, that's good. <sighs> Mortal damage, burger, yeah, do you risk it? If it misses here, he's gonna have to kill, he's gonna have to kill. No way! Oh, yes. no! <laughs> nice. Oh, man. Also, Captain Strong with the three submission holds in a row! Yeah, that's, um, that, that's not ideal. Remember back, you know, like 20 seconds ago when you said he was having the better RNG? Yeah, <laughs> commentator's curse, commentator's curse. I'm sorry, IQ. You can flame me after the run. It's justified. <laughs> now, Ataxla going for the um, the safety save over the hotel there is pretty smart now that she has a sizable lead. Because, um, uh, unfortunately, IQ does have to go back and fight every single cop now. Indeed. Um, doesn't register that um, you know, the four four strongs, you have to do it all over. At this point, Slug is ahead. 
It's no yeah. slug. Slug is not catching up here. Slug is ahead. Yeah, and if you're IQ, you know, he he was out of burger. He had one burger left, so you gotta go buy some more. Yep, you definitely have to buy more, here. yep. You get the photo, it's it's just and walking all the way from mom's house is, is never no bueno. That was a very, very I I like I, I feel for him. And honestly, if I were in his shoes, I would have done the same thing. You got the 91 rocking first, right? How often does Ness really miss the rocket? Strong's not that fast. Yeah, but of course, you know, only in Earthbound with the, the protagonist's signature move have non-insignificant chance to miss. Right. <laughs> Classic. Ness is the best starting pro tag. <laughs> Yeah, tax like having a decent go of profit so far. Go full up on uh, psychic. Yeah, good on health, good on psychic. Looking, looking good. Ooh, the open with the crossing chop. She does smartly choose to life up, because uh, those cops are known to just turn out the chops. Exactly yeah, as we're seeing here. Yeah, that's like he points to spare though. Going for the burger there. Oh, that was a that was That's a really it. high yep. burger roll. Fifty-seven. Yeah. Oh, and gets another burger. Nice. There you go. So she's had a pretty good health pool. She got the the nice uh, nest going first there to finish out that cop fight. Yeah, outspeeds in the cop gauntlet are super. Uh, you're you're you usually get a few. It's just when they happen is uh is pretty crucial. A lot, of, a lot of crushing chops here. Uh, she chooses the burger and another crushing chop. You do not like to see that, but she does have 66 HP going into uh, strong. Pretty good helpful, I would say. And yeah, if, PP as well. Yeah, if you want to be super safe, maybe you burger around one. Uh, just in case you miss a rock and you don't die. Yeah, uh, could, it when, could happen. It could happen. <laughs> yeah, we'll Safe shot. Play it. Opens with the rocket. And fires it off. Hey, it gets but the guard. It does happen. Yeah. 71 is solid. respectable. Yeah. Strong only has 120 HP, so it's on its own. Just needs one more bash here. She just... She gets a very clean Strong. Very well yeah. done by, by Slug here. Yeah, uh, Strong took that fight off after exerting yeah. too much energy against <laughs> Ivy. <laughs> it's just... It's a little unfair, I gotta say. Ah, 148. Thank you for it. Oh, you can always count on kids. No, always. Ah, uh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. We we don't know anything. So, I believe Art said that earlier, and I will echo that. That I don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> the stats I do know are for real. So shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Good to have you in the back pocket, the lifeline. Always have to have a fact checker, right? Yeah. Hey, so, you might have a job, my man. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> IQ having a, a, a little bit of a nicer cop fight. I say that, giving the commentator's curse right back to him. Yeah, luckily he did fill up on burgers. Not luckily, but smart. Yeah. Smart. I mean, you kind of have to. You kind of have to. You can't. You can't bank on those guys giving you burgers. Yeah, it does have a decent amount of resources. Going into the strong fight though. It's uh it's round two. <laughs> See how it goes. Alright, turn one does nothing. Perfect. 75. Nice. Alright, I'm having Vietnam flashbacks right now. He hit him. Ooh, nice oh, there we go. There we go. IQ moves past Captain Strong, finally. Still a respectable Onet time. And I, I venture to say anybody's game. PRV still exists. Absolutely. Art's confirmed 70 years of age. What did I miss? I'm confused. I mean, you're not wrong, but how'd you find out? <laughs> Ooh, so many uh, dogs in the street in Tucson today. Yeah, cops are not done with the runners yet. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs>
Yeah, interestingly... Um... IQ only has 17 HP at the moment, so if he accidentally gets it into a fight, it's a problem. Um, yeah, we'll, until he we'll can find the first it. butterfly. He needs to play it really safe. Yeah, there could be that cheeky entrance to Tucson encounter as well. You don't often see it. It's it's there looming though. Yeah, we've all we've all fought the the fly, the fly, the the hippie hiding in the bushes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, the hippie. <laughs> <laughs> see, Lord Taco, you say it's common to get confused when you're seventy, but when is it not common? Yeah. That's what it is. I'm confused you know? now. Exactly, yeah, I'm in my mid-20s, <laughs> and I've been confused for as long as I can remember. Sprout get or Sprout, uh, Slug, this is what you get for having a name being an enemy in the game. Slug getting the, the really clean move through Sprout Cave. <laughs> no Sprouts at all. No, no PRV UFOs either. Oh, there's a cheeky Sprout. IQ Pretty makes his way to Apple Kid. Yeah, and honestly, really nice PRV. She gets a, a nice butterfly here, too. I don't often see a butterfly there. I'll yeah, that's an interesting spot. You can tell that uh, she wasn't prepared for it either. She kind of doubled back. <laughs> is that a She's like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> the worst is when you get a butterfly spawn, like in the Sprout Tunnel cave that you're not expecting. You're like, oh shit, there's an enemy there. And then you despawn it. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh. Close. Ooh, that UFO was out for blood. Another one, he sent his brother. It's a whole family affair here. Oh man. Wow, yeah. They come out to play right here. PRV second half is, uh, or the walk back is now being a little bit punishing for her. A lot of yeah, spawns. Well, none shall pass. Is Oh, but nice, confident despawn so far. Just only, really, only one risky chase from the UFO. Ooh, mm. gets it stuck behind the tree there. Yeah, All right. very well done there. IQ chooses uh, not to chase that butterfly. I saw him think about it. Sometimes they're just not worth your time. They really aren't. You're gonna get they, a few in PRV for sure, right? You know, if they, you have to know your worth, right? Sometimes the butterfly, your girlfriend, someone, they might be playing hard to get, right? And you have to know. If it's worth it, right? That's the mark of a good run. Absolutely true. Know your worth, kings. <laughs> yes, another high five as our runners pass through Sprout Cave. IQ does have to take a few despawns. We'll see if we see any more Tucson people out of their houses. I see Once. a UFO. But not much else for IQ. He will get the free walk to the, the pencil. Oh, he chooses to to show that pencil loud and proud. Yeah, wow. Really getting a lot of airtime today. <laughs> <laughs> Doing it for the exposure, you know? <laughs> uh, luckily, IQ, I believe that, I, that, that UFO just yeeted itself off screen for him. But he is met with some sprouts as he goes through the tunnel. He was just sewn to, you know. Sometimes you can just scare them away. Absolutely. He's already he's already higher level than them. They realize. <laughs> to be fair, he did have to fight several extra cops, so <laughs> he might be he might be right. <laughs> Finally, is allowed to proceed, but not before one last sprout. Runners are gonna high five for the. Man, Slug getting that that good good uh despawn or not even despawn. She ain't even having to despawn over here. I keep fighting for his life. Slug just strolling through <laughs> Tucson. Yeah, PRV has been interesting so far for both of these. A couple scary moments, but they're making their way nicely through. Oh, Ooh, a UFO right out Ooh. the gate. Yeah, the UFOs have been. Tax slugs bane. Yeah. Wow, that didn't re that didn't despawn. Yeah, just going straight back into the cave. That's fair. That's a that's a hard spawn to get there right in the beginning of PRV. Cause that guy can swing out pretty far. Yeah, it's the horizontal movements from UFOs that always terrify me. Never 
know what's gonna happen. Right? You think, okay, you're stuck, right? Nope. <laughs> no. Especially the the spawn plate like right before uh, Happy Happy. Yeah. I'm always worried going down there. Oh, oh she is interesting. Answered. Hmm. The UFO luckily, seems to have left though. Nice. Yeah. Luckily, the sprouts have the short eye reach, so. She sure. Could've... I was I was wondering if maybe she could have gone on the top side of the tree there too if she needed. Uh, yeah. And maybe the sprouts would have just got caught on the tree. Oh, and she's just gonna have to take the the northern the Ooh. not usually treaded northern. Yeah, you, you don't therapy. often see it, but she gets actually blessed by not having any robots on the other side. Yeah, nice audible there worked out. Also, shout out to IQ for scoring a field goal between those two mushrooms there. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely respectable. Those guys have some touchy ranges. Axel doing a really good job avoiding these enemies. There are so many spots where I thought she was going to get into a fight. And just, you know, playing it patiently. In a good time. IQ starting his PRV journey himself. Now, Still he must be filled with butterflies. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true. Is he... <laughs> he is not He's hungry. hungry. <laughs> <laughs> They're still actually at a pretty good pace. IQ could absolutely slam PRV here and catch up. Oh, so he gets that. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm they, not sure what's going on just, there. Like, I don't even want to deal with them like possibly like pathing. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'll only go for the ones that are stuck in the wall. No chance <laughs> of running away. Hey, know your worth. Oh, yeah, hashtag know your worth. <laughs> oh, man. He definitely knows his worth. He says, I need every butterfly. <laughs> oh man, I, I feel like he actually did try to skip this one yeah. to his degree or to his. Well, I don't know the word I'm looking for. To his defense. There we go. Oh, a couple of. Here. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I need to please. <laughs> Slug is having. did have to despawn the cheeky cultists in the cultist cave. Those cultists are like the scariest. It's true. They were pretty close to the whole run. Yeah. If, you, if, you, if you don't like wait and like if you if you just go in their guns blazing, you will get screwed because they can spawn really far up. And they are like deceptively fast. It's true. <laughs> they are they are hauling it in that row. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so actually, not a too bad second half PRV for IQ. Yeah, he made a lot this. of time. There. He's in this. And here we have Shack fight coming up for Tax. Could be another tough one. And we get the trifecta. I'd love to see the trifecta. Ops to not get the. Perhaps he says he has enough burgers from having to do the second pass before cops. He does not get the croissant or the fresh egg. He wants to save yeah. a little bit of time. Yeah, I think, you know, in a race, three food items is usually enough. Um, and you can always get the croissant. In, in, in the, the, the stand, yeah, region. yeah. All right, no just a couple on slug. Yep, just uh, just a casual two rocking uh, time there. Yeah, wow, they're very good. That's a, yeah, yeah. I I keep blaze through PRV. Yeah, and he made a we, we, more we time. Didn't commentate on. We were like, oh, he's in hack happy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I have plenty of time to go watch him in PRP later. <laughs> Let's look at Jack, but <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Slug pulling up on those fresh eggs. IQ gets Oops. lucky. No joiner, no joiner. Not yet. With 46 and 58, and it missed the crow. That's the worst nice. rock end I've ever seen. That was terrible. Yeah, you do, uh, you do not like that, but... He'll get the standard cleanup with the second rocket. Yeah. Hits the crow that time. So, so parody from both runners on track by the solid. <laughs> yeah, PRV giveth and taketh. For sure. Yeah, those UFOs were a uh, holler uh, at attack. For sure. Ooh, the, the end cave is a cultist for IQ there. Everybody gets one, I suppose. Everybody gets one despawn of the cultists. And attack slug gets the, the solid oh, he's triple mash. And happy happy. Ooh, the, the happy happy butterfly. That's nice. actually really good. 
Yeah. I wonder if he saw that, because I saw him going right side normally. I wonder if he knew it was there. I don't know if that was on screen for him. I wasn't I wasn't paying that close attention before I saw it. Either way, that's like the best place to get a butterfly. For sure. Yeah, you, you get a couple extra rockins for Car Painter can definitely even up the pace here. Yeah. I've seen plenty of runners die to Car Painter so far in CPSS. So. Uh yeah, definitely will be nice. That's true. Yeah, you, you dying to Car Painter is still on the table. I was just thinking of like how to get through Car Painter fast for IQ to make up some time. Okay. <laughs> we got the oh cultist C in the house. Holy moly! So IQ does have to. Luckily, he did get that that butterfly. He does yeah. have to resort to using a rock in here. He can just bash it out here. Yeah. Nothing bad. Meanwhile, so he still does get to go into Car Painter with some PP there. Slug not having the best luck. What? No, not getting any reflex. He is, uh, he is no. Oh, oh, the smash. Oh, no. That's I thought the smash was going to be no. That is, so we that's, do yeah. have the biggest time loss a runner can experience in this run. A death yeah. on Car Painter. And the lead swaps, at least temporarily. It's true. Time. We still have Car Painter for IQ. He does have triple rock and oh, thanks for that. Ooh, we get a reflect already. A 143. Oh my god. Car Painter can't life up that much. At least I've never seen it. Oh, so he's just opting not to rock in here? You, you want you need to do it before the shield. A is second rocking. reflect? Hey, there you go. Oh! Car Painter. I remember how we were talking of having several rock ins ready for Car Painter. Yeah, right? And then, <laughs> and then he just didn't use the <laughs> My god, Car Painter just decided today is the day I learned to aim. Yeah, wow. Yeah, 140 reflex. That's absurd. That's so high. That is super high. Didn't have to use any rockins, which I mean, I don't know what the like the, the I mean, I guess if he takes some cheeky encounters in three, that could be pretty it would be nice to have. No, he's got a death warp before that though, so I really don't yeah. Maybe it's faster to just bash it if you get the reflex. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I mean the the animation is quick. <laughs> that's that's for sure true. But it's just so it's so interesting that he just cha he was just like, yeah, we got the the 140. I'm bashing. Yeah. But <laughs> Meanwhile, attack slug, just trying to you know pedal to the metal here to make up some time, but ends up running into some sprouts. Unfortunately, it's very unfortunate for her. I do feel for it. She's gonna have to make up quite a bit of time here. Yeah, really. At this point, just attack. just. Banking on a death for my Q. That is that is probably the only way at this point. The car painter death loss because it sends you all the way back to Tucson. It's such a chore. That's PRV yeah. Tucson Sprout. That's so much stuff. Yeah, the only saving grace is you don't have to shack fight. You know that that's that's little consolation. That's white, man. <laughs> tiny tiny gains for sure. So we got Paula. IQ has Paula here. We're dropping the armor, getting rid of he's that got, teddy bear. He's got 65 HP, which is definitely a little bit high for the death warp. Yeah, I would. I don't know. 65. I don't know if I would. I, I feel like I would try for the bear. If the mole is there in the beginning, maybe. But like, if he's not, I feel like I'd try for the bear. Do you have like a like a cutoff point where you choose to go for the bear instead of the mole? If he's like 90 HP, because I take the fresh egg a lot into Car Painter, so sometimes I'll get the cheeky, like, uh, 90 HP heal after, mm. like, he reflects or something like that. Yeah. Um, but, uh, I feel like 65 is probably in the range of getting two shot by the, uh, by the mole, so I think he yeah. made the correct choice here. Yeah, I like to, um, I'm super high HP. I'll actually just go to PR. Ooh, he, he got oh. under hit by one. Under hit by, by one. one. Not even a gut save. Just yep, not roll. even a gut save. Yep. But he eventually gets hit, so. There you go. IQ, yeah, was... pretty fast, pretty fast. Four hitter from the mole. Now, I, sometimes it can take like two minutes for the mole. It's true. That guy <laughs> would be like, I'm acting strange. I'm not yeah. acting strange. No, I'm so quirky. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Slug getting a clean second half of PRV here. Bit laggy up there. It turns out to just be the butterfly. He's just up there flapping. Oh, she chooses yeah, I... to despawn. 
I think she needs like, another bar. Oh, oh, true, true, true. Oh, it, it trolled her. <laughs> Perhaps she oh. is despawning? I have no idea. Oh, I don't know. It's 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 me being confused. Uh, name a more iconic duo. <laughs> <laughs> so you're 70 years old. <laughs> yeah, exactly. She You've makes the uh, PSV, though. She's on her way to Car Painter. EBSS commentary, geriatric edition. Brought to you live. <laughs> Oh man, if RJ heard us say that, he would uh, he would flame us. He'd be like, <laughs> You're not even thirty yet. <laughs> Why did RJ turn thirty recently? Because I have commentary next, so I can play. Oh yeah, he is. Uh, he's definitely he's definitely boomer status for sure. Oh. RJ, if you're listening, I hope you're ready. <laughs> he's in those threes. I don't know if he just turned thirty, but. All right, enough about him. Then. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, I got, I got purple go screen. It's all you. It's all, all right, you. All right, Slug making her way to Car Painter. We got IQ heading for the fat wad from Berglin. So the most riveting second part of Earthbound here is, of course, the big cutscene and tech smash it bonanza in Tucson here. Thirty-year-olds is bad, but there are a lot of old Earthbound speedrunners, which is fair. It's an old game. It's an old game. That's entirely fair. All right, we're back at Car Painter round two. I can see the fight. Hallelujah. Yep. She is at a much greater health level this time around. We'll see if she gets a reflex. Unlucky. Car Painter. Not having not any having good it. luck. Yeah. On her way to the Runaway 5 dance with IQ. Maybe we'll get the nice reflect here. She's gonna need to heal. I don't know if she... Yeah, she attacked this turn. She's gonna need to heal now, though. Yeah. She Not using out. the rock in, and now she can't because he's shielded. Ooh, the miss from Ness. She is not getting any handouts. Ooh, yeah, no reflects either. There we go, Ness! Is it enough, though? Right? I mean, you need at least one reflect at some point, right? There we go. She was oh, there we go. Okay. with one more bash. I gotta say, it had to been close. She was bashing there consistently for a while. Yeah. No reflects. Absolutely zero reflects for Slug. So props to her for getting through that. Yeah, neither neither runner opting to use Rockins during the Carpenter fight. I, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very interesting. <laughs> what did? What is this race? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely been an entertaining. Yeah, lead has uh, swapped back and forth kind of quite a bit. It's been a uh, been a wild ride. Slug still has some time to make up here. Taking the death to Car Painter, of course, is never good, but she can still fight for a good, decent boogie run time. Because remember, your times are ultimately what matters over the seating. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, hey, he's not out of it, right? No, for sure, for sure. Boogie, <laughs> boogie. We've seen boogie troll. We've already seen it this series. We have graveyard. We've got boogie. We have, Winters. We have Frodo. Oh, Frodo. We've got cave you. boys. <laughs> Take a mini a death to that first Proto. Interesting to see where uh, Axel decides to go for the death warp here. She was relatively low on HP, so it should be pretty safe. Mobile move, I think. Yeah, it's not it's not often you don't take that mole. It's I mean, going if you do choose to go for that bear, he's super deep into the cave, so it's you gotta really be like full health on Nest to even make it worth it. Alright, the runaway five are free. What what side bus will we see? It is a right side. Right side bus. Right oh. side bus. I don't think we've seen uh I have I haven't been watching every round. I don't know if we've seen a left side bus yet. Good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> we should never. The disrespect. <laughs> it is slower, it is slower. But it does have swag points. I don't know. I mean, to be fair, you you do, you do left side bus and you know, so anyone who's left bus or ah, underneath. Sure. Oh. That's a fair point. 
All right. Got Ooh, the mole. That's not quite dying there. The mole could have hit higher. Chose not to. Yeah, you can start defending with Ness here, though. Switch to HP. A little bit quicker than using the ATM card. But... Mole just being kind of a tool right now. Yeah. Doing exactly what we were describing earlier. Sizing up the situation over he's, and over again. He's feeling quirky. And he misses. This is just wow. a, a round of unluckiness for Slug. The one time you want to die in the game. It makes it so hard. Right? Earthbound. Like, do your job. Finally kills Paula. That's a little faster. You don't have to menu Paula anymore. I mean, the only thing go. is, right, there aren't that many enemies in the game that use them, so, right? It's like right. Roto, the Mole, and I couldn't even name them. <laughs> so, you know, why is it like the one enemy that we actually like want? <laughs> and he could, he could dispatch you in pretty quick order. It's just, you know, Earthbound special. Yeah. He just chooses not to. So IQ will have to despawn one plate in the graveyard, but uh, I mean, honestly, pretty free considering most graveyards I've seen. Oh, but we got the skip sandwich. We're zooming. Attack oh. slug. <laughs> Pedal to the metal. She's hauling to the hospital. The hospital. I'm sorry. That's... I'll leave. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, it was nice. Um, <laughs> Good commentary. Nice solo cast. Of... <laughs> yes. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Um, meanwhile, that was the quickest graveyard of time. Um, That's what I'm saying. <laughs> he, uh, he definitely got blessed there. Yeah, he has had some some points where he's just like faced parts of the front. Yeah, he had, uh, he had uh, the rough uh, death to Captain Strong earlier in the game, but he has certainly he has certainly made up for it. Yeah, but that was that was the only bad split, really. That for sure. Was was caught. I mean, he took that one extra fight. So he golded, I'm, I'm looking at his splits, he golded Ant by 30 seconds. <laughs> yeah, he golded Ant. Golden Carpenter, I mean, hello. Like, this, this, <laughs> this guy is flying! <laughs> Only Captain Strong. Doing what Strong does best. Yep. The triple submission hold. Ah, uh, yeah, you have crazy. so many moves. You literally have so many moves, Captain Strong. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention the Mist Rock. It would have been, oh, the, the triple submission would have been God. fine if he just hit the rocket, right? I tried to block those kinds of things out, you know? I like to pretend Ness can never miss his rocket, because then it'll never happen to me. Yeah, see, I'm not racing in the tournament, so I can I can force all the bad juju I want <laughs> on commentary. <laughs> and maybe I'll get it back in, like, PB attempt. There you go, yeah. I just want to stream them, though, so no one will ever know, damn it! <laughs> Can't do that to us. Let the people <laughs> have what they want. <laughs> we need attribution. Slug on her way to the Runaway 5 cutscene. I don't know whose audio we're listening to. So I don't know if the chat has already heard it. I assume we're listening to it. I have IQ stream on, so... We listen to Snowman. Still a good song. Still a banger. Snowman is a banger. It's one of those like subtle bangers, though. You know? I agree. Like there are obvious bangers, like five, like their fan song. You know. All right. Something... Should, since we're on the topic of of OSTs, how do you feel about the Onet theme? I feel like it's very polarizing. I love the Onet theme. It's okay, good. <laughs> I also love it. Who doesn't like the Onet theme? Well, I, okay, <laughs> Wait, what? It's pretty good. It's pretty good, but like, it's so early in the speed run, right? And like, so many runners have to just listen to it over and over and over again. See, on the contrary, I think that's a good thing, right? Like, the fact that the Onet theme is so good is the only reason that I can get through like a whole speed run session of resetting it. You know? I agree. I agree. I love it. I love it. Now, what's your, like, track. Dark Horse underrated song? There's a bunch. Everyone's, you know, in a big What would be my underrated one? I guess... Uh, Summers. I Well, I, I don't know. Ooh, Summers is a good one. I was gonna say, do people like Summers? I like the Summers theme a lot. It's I like definitely it a lot, but I, 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 yeah, I don't hear it come up. My Dark Horse pick is Lost. I love the track. That's so a good one. That's a good one. 
I definitely, there's some really good boss teams in this one too. I feel like definitely that I'm a more a bigger fan of the ambient ones than I am of like the the boss teams, but I gotta say Kraken of the Sea is a banger. Yeah. That's a, that's the cool thing about the OST too, right? Is that there's so many different like there's, there's just tons of variety, right? The environment. Absolutely, right. I think it does a very great job. I, I, when I run Mother Three, people will uh, come in there and be like, "Oh, which OST do you like more?" And I'll tell them, "Yeah, I do like Mother Three's OST more." Uh, but I think Earthbound's OST does a very very great job at the game it's in. Yeah, yeah, no, it fits it for sure. And you know, I've never played Mother Three, so I can't really fight you on. Oh, it's T Wars there. Oh, it's it's a you're, you're it's safe got some slappers. <laughs> it's got some slappers. <laughs> I will say. I mean, I think the same guy composed it. So, mother. Well, we got some mother one OST lovers. I'm a big Pollyanna fan. I like Pollyanna. Ruben's telling us all to get off the lawn at the same time. All right, back to the comments here. To be fair. <laughs> Nothing's really happening, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, we're still on the fetch quest. Uh, finally, Slug gets on the bus to Threed, so we will get to see some gameplay uh, on her end soon. Uh, another cutscene for IQ, of course. We're at the tragic side-by-side -side cutscenes. So I did like yesterday, I, I don't know if another commentator has done this, but Wizard Vapes was rating the different MS Paint Beast variants <laughs> that people put in chat, so, you know, I think maybe we can give a crack at that. Sure, sure, yeah. sure, absolutely. <laughs> People were doing it last run, and I was so like, I was like, oh my god, those are great. <laughs> <laughs> MS Paint Babby. Babby. Right, big right, old Paint Train. Babby. No, Paint Train, I think you've had better ones. But... <laughs> <laughs> MS Paint Lane. That's good. That's good. Right. Paint Beast, Beast classic. 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 You, know, you, you know, sometimes you just, you know, you, you need that vanilla ice cream. You exactly. Know? You can't fix what ain't broken, so, right? Exactly. MS Faint Feet. See, I like that one. That's a good one. I'm Team Reza Kuhn for the moment. We might have some late entries. It's a long cutscene. Ooh, Polyana, Polyana he's playing to the commentator's taste, huh? Only one. <laughs> true, true. There are two. MS Porky's Beef. I, I knew, nasty. Lizzie, I knew you were going to come up with a good one. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> He's been lurking this whole time. <laughs> just <laughs> my, my man doesn't even watch the race. He's just there, like I he heard the he, it's, 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 it's IQ's uh, uh voice or audio. So he heard the Tessie theme. He was like <laughs> <laughs> taking a nap. It's my time. <laughs> Alarm goes off. <laughs> yes, I like MS Porky's beef. That's a good one. I do like that. I'm with you. I'll vote for that one. Yeah. I live for this. <laughs> And you know what? Hey, look, perfect timing. We have Graveyard happening. We have and a nice Rick Road coming up. Yeah, wow. Yeah, two very solid games. Yeah. I mean, don't want to jinx it. Don't yeah, she still, has to, get, she still has to get out. <laughs> yeah. IQ opting not to attempt the first proto skip. He's just going to go for it. Ooh, that's a lot of lag. Smash. Nice. Yo, ooh, Bubble Monkey. Is, ooh. She did get the oh. one fly made it up. Oh, and the red fly. Now, this isn't the end of the world. This isn't the end of the world. It is only one. It is only one. And I believe. Oh, see, so, so you do. You want to. You want to freeze here. Oh, just, just, and so she will get fire on Bubble yes. That is good. That is a definite backup for Boogie Tent. And meanwhile, we did have a successful protocol for help, but he, and he IQ, made it through. Yeah, I mean, easy game, easy life. <laughs> it's uh, it's more surprising that he was able to kill both protos. That's that's pretty lucky, because um, typically you do have. Uh, I tend to try to run away if I get a joiner. Yeah. So now, I personally thought that was a good spot to go for a duck skip, but um, uh, he decided not to set it up. He just yeah. went for it. I mean, there is something to be said. It just like gets better. Uh, it's true. You know, if, if you have a, a decent lead, might as well just make. Always a risk though, because he did already eat the boiled egg, and we've seen Mad Duck dish out those double digits before. So that's true. Yeah, some days you just wake up and Mad Duck <laughs> chooses violence. No, didn't even try to move. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's not fair, man. That's not fair. <laughs> he literally sat there and watched the present come into him. <laughs> yeah, but Bubble Monkey was on strike. <laughs> <laughs> but luckily, he makes it through the second proto, and Slug makes it to winners. 
Yeah. No skip brick road, but he's got a solid lead here, so. Pretty good lead. Nothing doing. We will see how the Notorious Pond Cave goes. My worst part of Boogie Run for sure. I struggle hard in here. Yeah, especially like if you're on a good pace, hands are shaking. It's the last time you have to stutter in the whole mm -hmm. run. It's just not mm -hmm. a good I, for one, think it's also harder to stutter. I, maybe someone could probably prove me wrong because I'm, I'm still a novice, but I think it's harder to stutter in here, even though it's all the same stutterable stuff as Giant Step. Well, Bubble Monkey certainly doesn't. Right. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, cause, because you know, up, to, it, up to this point, you haven't had to stutter with like a party member trailing on you. Yep. Um, so that's that, that definitely makes it harder, and it's super narrow caverns, right? They're Agreed. Like, yep. Big rooms like this. Because you, you literally like some of those you can stutter. I've seen some pretty god tier stutters in Pond Cave before, but you have to be like you have to make sure you're getting no movement out of those slugs, or you're gonna get that encounter. Yeah, absolutely. Pretty, pretty nice despawns, though, from IQ. Yeah, definitely. And and in the later rooms, like second room and beyond, sometimes it's not, it's not even worth to go for the stutter. Cause nope. You, you could just you stutter can and answer. end up next to a, Absolutely. Or a, a mushroom, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you're you're really in a bad spot. Yeah, you gotta, like, stutter back to exactly. despawn a mushroom. <laughs> no, no. Would not yeah. recommend. I, I usually say, man, if I'm stuttering backwards, I'm... I'm... <laughs> Truly, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm down bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, really clean pond cave there for my cue. Yep, so we were, good we were talking it up like this, like this scary ass place, and he was just like, yeah, like <laughs> no big deal, no big deal. I agree. He showed it. He had some good stutters as well as good, uh, good RNG as well. But uh, it's definitely some decent stutters on top of it. And now we're looking for spawn. advantageous mushroom positioning here, and, and there he we gets go. it very oh, yeah. fast. It, it helped that he uh, the one mushroom was in the the spot already, so he only really had to despawn that one that was super high up on the screen. Yeah, Did, didn't have to go down the all the way down the rope. I just gotta sprint his way past these cave boys. Plug making her way out of the dormitory, taking our boy Tony. Thank you, Tony. I'll never forget you. Sayonara. He'll pray for us later. He's a good guy. All right, so you guys all have a second chance for some MS Paint piece. Round one went to Wizard, but you know, can he be dethroned? Yeah. That's the question. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready to be uh, surprised. Yeah. You know, I have faith in chat. We've got we've got some some good chatters today. Shout out to chat. You make this much more fun than it would be. I agree. Not that I don't have fun doing. <laughs> Interacting with chat. Yeah, arts is kind of a pain, so. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Bubble Monkey's Ooh. definitely gonna get caught. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you I just knew it was gonna happen. <laughs> You've seen it too many times. Yeah, well, that was way too much space to walk to expect it to be caught, so. I, yeah, see, I would have been screwed. I would have I thought she had it. <laughs> I was like, oh, she got away. <laughs> but nope, Bubble Monkey decides to take his uh, his his work regulated break at the worst times. <laughs> Why is he the only team member that gets work regulated breaks? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. What's up with that? Must be part of a union. <laughs> Now, if you are IQ here, do you safety save? Hmm. The cheeky department store, if you're ahead. See, here's the thing. If I'm IQ, I'm not watching the other racer. I don't watch the other racer ever. Uh, it's a mental okay. thing. But if I were, I don't know. She took a death on Car Painter. That's a lot. Yeah. Cause where does it? If you died at Boogie, where does that put you? Just in the would... tunnel, like where you get Jeff. Yeah. So, but I guess that means you're you've lost your multi ball or your big bottle rocket, so you are kind of screwed, right? Yeah. So you can just do like the reset, start back there with. I mean, you, if you die without the safety save, you do get one more chance, right? Assuming you kept the broken. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
because you can just buy some lava rockets. Sell the difference, Ray. Right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, because Ness's rocket actually can. He only has like 500 something, right? Or 600? It's he has like, like six. He's like a, a low 600, right? Yeah, or no, I think it's like high 500. A high 500, okay, gotcha. I don't know. Um, Once yep. again. Me, me too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Great commentary. <laughs> we need like an analyst desk to put to at these times. Mods, make it happen. Come on. What do we pay you for? Yeah, come on, Tim. We'll just uh, just just throw up the Google search on screen. Throw up like Starman Wiki on screen. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> just switch scenes over to the EBDB. Ooh, MS Quaint Beast. Now that's I a like good. That. One. I like that. That is good. MS Bubble Union. Yeah, I think we're at time. MS Quaint I... Beast. Yeah. Yeah, MS Quaint Beast. There we go. That seems to be the stickout. Good job, yeah. MS Rocker. You've Wizzy, got the. You've got to wake up for this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, but we are on the final stretch here. Four. IQ. Life's up, Jeff. He eats the sandwich! We're, we're zooming. zooming! We're going! Let's go, we're hyped. You say pretty smart, you can get Wait, some, but what if some... there's spawns? There's no spawns, okay, cool. There, I, that's really what I was gonna bad. say. If there were spawns, you just have to go right back. Oh, but we're running, look at this. Speed, pure speed. Speed running, one might even say. <laughs> Just as advertised, he is speedrunning his way to Boogieton. Gets oh, he takes, the, he takes the wide swing. Oh, he oh, is we're going, doing he got the safety save. The yes. safety save, he knows. A man after my own heart. He knows. It's toxic. I, I think it's... No, I'm just kidding. I mean, no, at, at this point... I, to be fair, it is kind of funny that he skipped sandwich down to the safety save. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> You were waiting to lose a lot of time. Let's no, go. Absolutely, I choose personally not to watch the other runner, but no, absolutely, you are allowed to. So, if that prompts you to save in the department store, you are more than happy to. Yeah, and I mean, at this point, the only you Wait, know, did he life up? He loses. Yeah. Oh, he, he chose buffering not... the life up. Buffering the life. Oh, smart! Actually, yeah. actually, <laughs> wait. Oh, let's go! <laughs> He's a genius. Uh, he had seven fourteen. Yeah. Oh my god! I, I, He's I, a god. So, the IQ. Did you? Did you know that was gonna happen? He manipped. He manipped. <laughs> he stuck in a hard reset. That's what the safety save was for. That he was just actually the insane. <laughs> GG. Wow. I would never buffer the heal. I'm. I'm so greedy. I don't know. <laughs> well played. He had the teddy bear too. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. That's exactly why I would never buffer the heal. That's the thing, right? Like he went for every every single safety strat. And, and then worked, Jeff hit right? it, <laughs> and then he didn't even need it. Like the one time Jeff hits the seven hundred, holy moly! Yeah, wow. Well, I used brain as like a, IQ. a really big prune. I like that. <laughs> so wrinkly. Wow. Absolutely solid run from IQ. A one twelve. 35. Yes, the galaxy brain run right here. Mike. That was insane. I'm actually, that was so hype. <laughs> <laughs> Someone clip that, please. <laughs> please, I, I can do that afterwards if not. <laughs> oh man. Meanwhile, IQ making it through Brick Road. Still has a decent pace here. Just uh, doing it for tiebreakers yeah. at this point. Yep. And yeah, still a decent pace. Can can definitely get out of winners and good good time here if Pawn Cave is nice. But yeah, IQ I'm sure is happy to be building momentum. Jumps up to one and one record with a one twelve very solid time as well. Yeah. Tax log will drop to zero and two, but definitely still a lot of tournament left to be played here. Remember, you can make the knockout round even with a record of two and three. So. We, we really hope that Jeff does not take a death here. Nice, solid hit. She did take a red swirl. Yeah, and luckily, Mouse not uh, smashing twice not there. Not smashing too much. It's like a 50% chance. Sure. Yeah, he's got some he got some massive guts on that guy. Which is funny, because like, Meister are pretty small. Yeah. Their, their guts aren't that big. Hmm. It's because he's rowdy, you know? Ooh, yeah, true, true. Oh, teaching me a thing or two, slug. Confident despawns. 
Sometimes it's all you can do, especially if uh, the stuttering's not in the cards. Yeah, wow, not even able to get past this little choke point here. There it's never fun stuttering past the choke point either, because you can get stuck. Absolutely, you, you almost never want to chance it, for sure, like we were saying earlier. She will opt to do this one. There's still another spawn play so after far. this. Ooh, it, it is free, it is empty, so very good, good gamble by her. Yeah, that was a very solid stutter. Three enemies on screen going for that stutter, definitely risky. Hey. Yep, oh, definitely mad respect. Wow. That was a that was a good stutter. Mushrooms here, doing their thing. It is their cave, after all. That is the boss. The big shroom. Shroom with an shroom. exclamation point. And like six O's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shroom! <laughs> So Imagine will... how much fun the, like, you know, localizers had just, like, giving shit in this game. Oh, right? Right? <laughs> I mean, I, great job it, I think it, yeah. The guy, like, is definitely a passion project for him. Yeah. Arachnid, yeah, the triple exclamation point. <laughs> I mean, imagine if it didn't have the exclamation points. How boring. It, exactly. It doesn't have the same emphasis. It's like, ah, what's up, dude? <laughs> Maybe the localizer uh, was a giant shroom. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he had a fear of spiders. I can see it. I can see it. They are super annoying encounters too. You can percentage per percentage percentage. <laughs> it's always yeah, this is a get. this is a solid. solid oh, it's a ninety six. It's not even a percentage, is it? No, that's definitely a percentage. I refuse to believe that's not. I also think it's a percentage. Finally, winners is over. We are now on to the Skyrunner part two. In the final stretch for Slug can still end with a, I believe she could still get a, I don't want to say, cause Skyrunner cutscene is pretty long and so is the level up cutscene. Yeah. Hard to yeah, say. Skyrunner cutscene is what? Two and a half, three two, minutes. Two and a half minutes, yeah. It's, it's, it's a long game. It is a long one. <laughs> it's, it's a, a get-water kind of cutscene. Yeah, you get to, to ponder your mistakes. <laughs> Reflect on what went wrong in the run before yeah. this point. Why did Carpainer have to do that? Why did Carpainer never reflect on me? Yeah. Yeah, the boss is having a fun time in, the, in this race. Strong had a kill, Carpenter had a kill. Surprisingly, yeah, no Ant. Uh, yeah, Ant yeah, went pretty smooth for, for both runners, I will say. It was it was nice and neck and neck up until uh, Cops. Yeah, but then IQ was able to claw it back even after that cop. Yeah, he had a really strong run. Honestly, I can't I can't say much. Like he remember he screamed through PRV. He was just like, I I don't even see any of these e enemies. Yeah, spawns were turned off in PRV and graveyard. Yep. Oh my God, the graveyard <laughs> too. Like it, it was just absolutely cracked what he had to what he had. I legitimately didn't even see graveyard. Like I <laughs> I blinked. Yeah, you look, exactly. You look away for a second. <laughs> Uh, speaking of IQ, I don't know. We, I, as far as I've been commentating, nobody's jumped in for the winner commentary. I don't know, IQ, if you're listening, do we want to maybe bring him in for a few lines? He's busy. Yeah, he's uh, he's he's giving the people what they want. <laughs> this is the boogie percent. Big. It is. It is. <laughs> I wish I knew how to do this. I'm I'm bad at this. <laughs> <laughs> I've not been gotta, able to pull it off yet. Just gotta wiggle yourself in. Yeah, apparently, like you can, like the no problem here text is like really slow or something when you actually. Get yeah, it. there's like a, like a delay between when you press the button. And pops up. Pops up. It's like... It's Jeff, and he's back with Ness and Paula. The gang's all here, guys. It's true. Who's who? Never yep. heard of him. Never. I don't know who that is. I'm pretty sure uh, JSR named his poo who in the last run. <laughs> <laughs> Not wrong. <laughs> he really doesn't get much more use of the glitchless run either. 
No, no, truly not. It is, it is, he, he can star storm sometimes, but. Yep, and he, he's a it. very good skip sandwich. Oh, that true, oh my god, I mean, how could you disrespect him after, like, he, that man, he is granted to you with an empty inventory at a <laughs> crucial time in the speed run. Very true, yeah. Right before Pyramid. <laughs> And you got Jeff over here with like bottle rockets spilling out of his pocket. <laughs> Paula has every item we've <laughs> never <laughs> wanted. <Yeah. laughs> Slug so, seeing a few encounters, those smiling toms, they they were looking at her. She chooses not to take the tree route. She doesn't trust the dog, but Ooh. Oh the dog, no. Not getting red squirrel though. But we'll turn back right there. This is, you know, just a that's true, that's true. You can hope that it doesn't hit Jeff here, and it luckily misses, so honestly, wipe that up pretty quick. Ooh. Solidify, even. Nice, thanks. Huh? Paula gets the most use out of the boogie percent speedrun that you'll ever see. Yeah, right? <laughs> quick BBR the dog, yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I re I've said this every year, but I want I really want someone to BBR pro at some point. <laughs> I would just love that. Absolute power <laughs> move. <laughs> like if you know Paul already has fire, you're just gonna cover it <laughs> boogie down with, with bottle rockets. I mean you I mean you sell that uh defense spray. Yeah. There's a there's an argument for it. Four oh three, not okay. the worst. We got fire the strats in the house though. We so. the fire strats, so it could still be a one turn. Ah, uh, bit of a low row on the rockin'. 72 is not too run. good. That is true. <clears throat> and he, he is, he's not hitting anyone either, so good RNG there. And there you go, fire strats coming in hot. GG to attack slug. Yeah, GG. Should be a mid-122. Always good to just get a time on the board. Just about the one thing you... level up text for Paula, actually. Yeah, true. And, and Jeff, right? Yeah, so, they did take the dog uh, fight, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the important thing is just to get a time on the board, right? The one thing exactly. you don't want is to do not A forfeit. That, that kill. Yeah, you do not want that. Alright, yeah, there we go. 121. Nice. 121. Congrats to IQ and Attack Slug. Very good showings from both of our runners here. And yeah, they faced adversity. Both had several untimely deaths, but Absolutely. IQ has managed to edge it out in the end. Um, and yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Don't go anywhere. We do have two more races tonight. Next up is Wizard Vapes versus Mr. X. Who could that be? I don't know. Mm. I actually don't know. Uh, so it, it actually